Hey everybody, Ryle here in the Film Lab at thesubstream.com. Last time we kicked off our series on sound recording by talking about sound levels and why it's the most important thing you need to consider when you're recording dialogue for your film or even when your band's doing a cover of For Whom the Bell Tolls or even Lame Birds Chirping in Nature or whatever. But how do noise get in machine to make level? Answer? It's microphone. See, in filmmaking, documentary or otherwise, there are basically three main types of microphones that people generally use. And they all differ in their functionality and hence their usefulness, and in the way that they're made, the technology behind what makes them work. So today we're gonna to be talking about the lav mic, which I've got on right now, this handheld jobby right here, and this handsome young gentleman right here, known as the shotgun mic. We're gonna discuss what makes each of these microphones different, which ones are better, which ones are worse, and why you don't just use one microphone for every application. Let's take it as a given that in any scenario, you're gonna to wanna to record sounds selectively, okay? When Donahue was roaming around his studio audience with a weird looking mic back in 1988 trying to figure out what the most popular way to be crazy was, the guys in the sound booth were only interested in recording Donahue's voice, not recording the sounds of the fat lady farting in her seat next to him. Well, this is true for sound recordists in any situation. They want to record some sounds and not the others. Which means what? What this means is that for our purposes, the most important differences between mics is their directionality or their polar pattern. And what that is, is basically the area in space that a mic is able to pick up sounds from. Take this handheld dynamic mic, for instance. It's pretty similar to the one Donahue used. We've switched over to this handheld mic now. Now this mic has a cardioid directionality, which means that its directionality, or its polar pattern, when mapped out over space, looks like this. Cardioid, as in heart-like. Neat, huh? So what that means is that when I hold the mic like this, it sounds like this. When I hold it like this, it sounds like this. And then when I hold it like this, that's what it sounds like. So when I hold the mic like this, it records my voice and not the sound of me tapping my feet and farting, which I'm currently doing. Compare that to this lav mic, which is an electret condenser mic. It has a directionality that looks like this. Omnidirectional, which means it can pick up sounds from almost any direction. It's good for when you've got an actor up on a stage somewhere, or if uh, you can't get in to use a boom pole, or if you don't actually want to show people in your movie holding on to microphones the whole time. What's cool about it is that you can just clip it onto your clothes or tape it to bare skin and uh, it doesn't matter which direction the mic is pointing because it records sound equally in every direction. So when I hold it like this, it sounds like this. And when I hold it like this, it sounds like this or like this or like this or like that. It's all the same. Now, the drawback is that while it's recording the sound of my voice, it's also recording the sound of my toe tapping, or me farting, which I'm currently doing, or me shuffling with papers. Another drawback is that when it's clipped to your shirt or whatever, you pick up sounds that you don't want, like body noise. Now, the most common type of mic used on a film set is a shotgun mic, like this one. These mics are condenser mics, and they hang off the end of a boom pole and the boom operator basically points the mic at whoever happens to be speaking in the scene. They're popular because they're extremely selective and super, super directional. Now the boom operators have to be really accurate because of that. This is the directionality of a shotgun mic. Super narrow, like a shotgun blast. Now when it's pointed right at me, it sounds like this. But when it's pointed away, it sounds like this. It's very, very super selective, which is great, extremely valuable, because it means that your sound recordist can basically record any sound they want just by aiming the mic in the right direction. 
They usually do it off camera though. Thanks. So of all the mics that we've talked about today, we think that the best value for your money, if you're on a budget, is the shotgun mic with the boom pole. You're gonna have to work around some difficulties like this long cable or whatever when you're shooting, but it does get you the best results. We'll be back soon with a guide on how to swing a boom pole, but for now, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed learning all about microphones. Bye now.